I'd like to take you back to the Saturday before Easter. My daughter and her husband and the four grandkids came up for a surprise visit on Easter Sunday. April 3rd, um, my family and I, uh, of six, excuse me, drove up from Virginia to surprise our family for Easter. Um, around 7.30, 8 o'clock, uh, we were on Vincent Road heading towards Port Huron when uh, my son Austin, who's 17, was driving, noticed a lady, uh, a lady swerving into our lane. Saturday night, we get that dreaded phone call. It was my daughter. They had been in a, a car accident. Austin reacted as quickly as he could, uh, but the lady still hit a, hit our suburban. I tried decelerating and pulling right to try and dodge the car, but it, there was no dodging this car. Uh, she hit us in the, the right front driver tire. Um, everything happened real quick. It flipped us about three to five times, and next thing you know, I was laying upside down in the ditch. And I get to Vincent Road, and I park my car. And I get out of my car, and I see their Yukon upside down in the ditch. The driver's side front tire is missing. The roof is completely caved in. And immediately I, get, I just get this sick feeling in my stomach. I'm looking at that vehicle wondering how six people ever got out of there or did they get out of there. Austin somehow got out of the driver's side window, called 911 and went and checked on the lady that hit us. Uh, Ashley and my wife, were able to get out the door. They were in the road behind us in the suburban. Uh, Adam, uh, my 13-year-old son, uh, kind of cradled my six-year-old son that was in the back. They were both sitting in the back of the suburban. And I look up, saw my brother like screaming, so I grabbed the side to go up and I just grabbed him, holding up to him. I quickly called 911 and ran over to the other car, see if she was all right. And she, she seemed fine. When my husband and my two older sons they were um, put into the ambulance. Um, us three, we sat in the fire truck. And the fire um, chief asked us um, if we had our seatbelts on. And I, we all said yes. And really, I don't think I did. Um, I was saved by my daughter here. She helped me. really proud of my kids because they were embracing one another and what I thought I was holding on to my kids I think I was just holding on to myself so I'm very proud of my kids. The next morning when um, we went to uh, the tow yard to see the vehicle uh, to collect the rest of our stuff um, I was pretty amazed uh, how, how fortunate we were um, even though you hear the EMS and the firefighters and the police officers come up and say, you know, it's amazing to see you guys come out and walking just with scratches. It's just a blessing to know that there's someone else there in that car with you protecting you because, you know, there should have been a lot more that happened. There should have been more injuries. There should have been more bleeding, more cuts. Fire chief asked us um, if we had our seatbelts on and we all said yes. And he says, well, that's what saved you. And I said, absolutely not. That's not what saved us. It, we, we had Jesus and God protecting us. That's what saved us. And he goes, yeah, I think you're right. I said, I know I'm right. If you're not a believer, this is the time to believe because that's the only thing that protected my family. I realized that every day that I, I pray to God, I said, keep a hedge of protection around my kids and grandkids, you know, protect them from all possible harm and danger. And that's exactly what he did. And I find it amazing that I would question that, that, I, that I, I couldn't get it from my heart to my mind to believe he actually is going to do this. And he does it every single time. And it was just the protection of you know, God's arms embracing our suburban that saved us. 
My name is Jerry Glett. We're the Mipsuds. And this is a chapter in my story. And this is a chapter in our story. <laughs> 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 <laughs>